All right, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you one small tweak that I made with my hip motion during my swing that completely changed my ability to be able to rotate during the downswing. A lot of golfers come in to see me, whether I'm working with them in person or online, that really wanna do the same things, right? We all want to be able to increase our rotation of our pelvis and rib cage during the downswing. We all wanna be able to stay nicely in posture like all those pros we see. A lot of the players I work with struggle with an impact look, something like this. Very little pelvis and rib cage rotation, standing up, very inconsistent. Now, the thing I've been working with a lot of my students on that helped me a lot is in order to be able to help increase the rotation of the pelvis and rib cage during the downswing, is actually to focus on the motion of the hips in terms of towards or away from the golf ball. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by that in today's video. I'm gonna give you one or two of my favorite drills that you can use. And by focusing actually on the forward and backward motion of your hips, you can either increase or decrease your rotation during the downswing. So if you're someone who struggles with that, who wants to increase that rotation, today's video is gonna really help you. Here's sort of the mantra or the thing that I want you to be able to understand here. When I take my setup position during the swing, at any point in time, when my hips move forward towards the golf ball, that's always going to serve to decrease rotation and make me stand up. That's so important, I'm gonna say that again. At any point in the swing, when my hips are working in towards the golf ball forward, that's gonna make me rotate less and that's gonna make me stand up. And that's obviously not what we want. Now, if that's true, you'll be saying, duh, Eric, I know that, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it, okay? If that's true, and anytime I move forward, no rotation standing up, that means that anytime that I move my hips back or away from the golf ball, that that'll make rotation easier. That'll make it easier to stay down in posture through the golf ball, and that's certainly the case and the tweak that I made that helped me so much was not trying to focus on like twisting my hips open to increase my rotation during the downswing, but really focusing on getting my hips farther back away from the golf ball in swing. And that has a direct effect on my rotation. In reality, the hip rotation that we get in a golf swing comes from my hips getting farther from the ball. So during my back swing, and we'll so show some tigers, a really good older tiger uh, swing that I use with my students. And that really helped me understand this that you'll see. I drew a line kind of right up in front of his hip line here. And you'll see during the swing that the right hip is gonna push back away from the golf ball during the back swing. And try this along with me. Notice as I push my hip back, what happens to my hips? They rotate automatically. During the downswing, you'll notice the circle around Tiger's hip here. Where does that go? Back. What happens to his hips? They rotate automatically. See, I find a lot of players, and this might be you, who let's say you know I, you don't have enough hip rotation. You know you're standing up through impact and you've really tried to rotate him more. A lot of times this is the missing link that can really help. In fact, I learned a lot about this from Mike Malaska. Maybe we'll put some clips on the screen when I was working with Mike, and he had me do a drill that I'm gonna show you where you hold some, um, imagine you were holding cables in front of you, right? Like, a, like you were in the gym pulling these little cables. And let's put that on the screen here as well. And he showed me, hey, Eric, during the backswing, feel like you pull that cable back with your right arm and allow that right hip to push back. And then during the downswing, pull that left hip uh, pull that cable back with your left arm to pull that left hip back. And I really like that visual and drill. Let's play that on the screen again. Pull that right cable back to push the hip back. Pull that left cable back to push that left hip back. Now, over the years, as I've used that with my students, I would make some slight adjustments to that. In the golf swing, I don't really want you to pull your arm back like that. And so I like that as a visual to get the hip feel. But really what you wanna feel, if you do the same thing, let your arms hang in front of you, sort of dead like this. And imagine I'm still gonna have the same feel with my hips as if I were pulling the cable. So I'm gonna pull that right hip back, my arms feel dead here, pull that left hip back. 
Now notice a couple of things as I'm doing this drill. And this is the main one I did that helped me with my hip rotation. I use it with a lot of my students. Pull that right hip back, pull that left hip back. Now notice as I'm doing this, a couple things. Number one, as I'm pulling my right hip back during the backswing, my left hip isn't jutting way in forward. Okay, one of the cool things Mike showed me with a little visual on the ground, we put a little B-roll of that is, as the right hip goes back, this left hip is gonna stay where that's at, meaning it's not gonna jut way in. So the right hip goes back on the way back. And now notice as I come through here, as my left hip back, a couple things are gonna happen there. Right hip back. As my left hip goes back, notice I'm also gonna be shifting some weight towards my left foot. And this is the drill that I want you to be doing. You can do this right at home. Hands in front, right hip back like you're pulling the cable, left hip back. But notice, when I make my back swing, I'm not shifting a lot of weight to the right, I'm staying pretty centered, right hip goes back. But as I come through, as my left hip feels like it gets away from the golf ball back this way, notice also, I'm gonna be shifting some more weight onto my left foot. Let's say I'm about 50-50. Yeah, still about 50-50 is my feel. And now when I get through there, when I feel that motion with the left hip, I'm probably 70 or 80% on my left leg. Right, I'm allowing that right foot to come off the ground, a little bit in the follow through. And that little pulley system is really the main drill feel that I want you to have. Now, what I like to do, and a little caveat with that, is to give my students a simple visual for when they're practicing by themselves. And we'll pull that tiger image back up. And then I'm gonna give you a little caveat. The first thing, as I'm feeling that, take my normal setup with the club, like I'm pulling that back, my right hip's gonna be back, my left hip's gonna be back, right? I like to give players a little visual, and I want you to do this. You put a club down your foot line here, in line with the ball of your foot. That's about where your shoelaces end, kind of where your toes meet the base of your foot. Put a club or a stick down that behind you. And what I want you to feel here when you're doing this, imagine that's like a wall, like Tiger's wall, sort of down like the front of your hips. And I want you to feel like when you make a swing here, that your right hip is gonna go back behind that line, on the way back, and my left hip is gonna go back behind that line on the way through. So that's a simple feel to start with. I feel like that my hips are gonna be over that wall, I'll tell you through that, talk you through that in a minute, but we're gonna go right hip back, left hip back. And there's a really solid strike, and I feel like it was very easy to get my hips through. When we're doing this poorly, the sensation that I used to get a lot and you may get when I don't turn it all and I stand up, is like I have like no space. As if like I'm stuck on the way down, I've got nowhere to go. When I do this correctly, and I feel like my right hip is getting back away from the ball, my left hip's not jutting in, right? My left hip stays back. Right hip's back away from the ball, and then my left hip's away from the wall. I feel like I've got a ton of space. You're gonna feel like you've got a ton of space for your arms and hands. Same thing, club is down here, move the ball a little bit there, but club is down, basically the ball of my foot. I'm trying to feel like my right hip goes slightly back, left hip goes slightly back. And there again, very solid strike, felt very easy to get my hips through. And by pushing my hips back away, I've created all the rotation that I need on both sides of the swing. Now, one big caveat with that, and that's, how you set your hips and the action reaction or counterbalancing that's gonna happen. This comes up a ton with my students. What I see with a lot of players who struggle with hip rotation and stand up like we're talking about, a lot of times the player will have the hips set too far back at setup. Now, are there some golfers who set their hips back and they're able to push the right hip back, push the left hip back and they get away with it? Absolutely but maybe only one out of like 20 or 30 people I see can do that. 19 out of 20 people I see, when we start with our hips back, your body's gonna counterbalance. If the hips are back, what's the opposite of back? Forward, in towards the ball. When the hips go forward, can we rotate or not? No, we can't. When we can't rotate, are we gonna stay down or stand up? We're gonna stand up. Is that gonna be good for consistency, solid contact? No, it's not. So when your hips are too far back at setup, a lot of times I see the hips actually working in on the back swing. So we're early extending hips in on the way back and hips in on the way down. 
And the golfer will say, hey, Eric, why can't I rotate my hips? I say, well, because you start way too back and then you're moving in right away, you keep moving in. Your hips are moving in towards the ball, of course you can't rotate. How do we solve for that? We solve for that during your setup by making sure your hips are a little bit more underneath you. Okay, so what I want you to feel here, and again, we can use this club sort of down the ball of my foot here um, as a, just a little indicator. When you take your setup, I want you to feel like you pull your hips forward underneath you. And as you pull your hips forward underneath you, so your butt's not sitting as far back behind your heel line, and your hips are a little bit more forward, you're gonna feel the pressure on the balls of your feet a little bit more than normal. Now, the benefit of this, and I learned a lot of this from George Gankus, the benefit of starting with your hips a little more under you is what? Now I've got a ton of motivation, right? Now it's easy for me to push my right hip back, push my left hip back. So the hips are under at your setup. You kind of pull your hips under, get your pressure on the ball of the foot, and then push that right hip back on the way back, push the left hip back on the way through. Really solid and feels really good. <clears throat> now, as I'm pushing my right hip back, guys, and in the backswing, I'm not gonna go nuts with the backswing part, but I would be okay with you going nuts with the follow-through part. Meaning from here, pull the hips under, pressure's on the ball of the foot, again, kind of uh, where your shoelaces end, where your toes meet the base of the foot. Got this kind of down my toe line. I'm imagining from here, I'm gonna push my right hip back just a little bit. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go like this, right? Because then I might just go right back to square one. Hips are under at setup. I'm gonna gently allow my right hip to go back so my weight goes towards my heel. And then from there, as if this wall went all the way up the front of my hips, I'm gonna feel like as my right hip goes back, my left hip stays deep in the backswing, and then it pushes back with the weight towards my heel. Again, always trying to get the hips farther from the golf ball to create that automatic rotation. Hips more under at setup, right hip back, left hip back. Same sort of thing, very solid. Imagining that I've got that wall there, that my hips are working back away from on both sides. And again, really key during the backswing as my right hip goes back, my left hip stays back. Quick add on here, guys, as you're pushing the hip back on the way down, we'll show Tiger from face on here as well. As the hips going back, the feeling isn't push the hip back and the hips also staying back from this direction. That's not what we're going for. I see that sometimes. As I'm getting the hip going farther away from the golf ball, like with that drill, my weight's still going forward and my hips are still pushing forward towards the target. So if we show Tiger on the screen or split screen him, you're gonna notice as his left hip is getting farther from the ball from the down the line angle, from face on, his hips are moving forward and pushing up the whole time. So the hip on the way through is getting farther from the ball, but you're still pushing your hips forward towards the target. So that's really the small tweak for me that I made when I understood how much the hips towards or away from the golf ball affect my hip rotation. I spent a lot of time on that and that's the piece that makes it much easier to clear your hips. So if you feel like your hips are getting stuck on the way down, give that one a try. If you want help with your game, go to cogornogolf.com backslash free trial. Try 14 days free, try our online coaching for free. I'm gonna personally analyze your swings, identify the root issues, show you exactly how to fix those so that this off season you can have the best golf swing of your life and play excellent golf next year. Would love to see you there. We'll put that link in the first description down below.